damaging, but the drug itself remains on. <coughs> I would heavily advise you <coughs> now that if they're lucky enough to be selected for the first wave of cures, they put these rumours out of their minds. But how can you be certain, Doctor? You said yourself that you have no relation to the distribution side of this so-called cure. How can you vouch for the cure's effectiveness, never mind its safety, when all you have to go on are some healthy and potentially fictitious test patients? Thousands are dying every day. Some are calling this the epidemic that will end humanity. You are gambling with lives here. How can you expect people to put their faith in something so secretive? I think the listeners are going to need something a little more science-y to put their faith in. The exact specifics of this project are obviously confidential, but any medical professional could take an educated guess. Since the illness is cognitive, the cure is probably some sort of neuroenhancer. Sounds science-y enough for the listeners? Well, we're about... You were chosen. I'm not going. You have to go. I'm staying with you. You don't have a choice. Of course I have a choice. I'm not leaving you. Hey, don't worry about me. This is just the first selection. There'll be more places. I might get picked. That's not true. You can go in my place. You know we can't do that. Getting picked like this. It's just like a roll of a dice or something. It's not fair. None of it's fair. Fate's going to decide everything. It can decide this. Roll of the dice. Double six. I'll go through with it. Anything else. I'm staying with you. <laughs> 